I'm really glad the show's back and a lot of things have changed since the show went off the air. Social media, clean eating, have these <laughs> clean trends eating, sort of yeah. <laughs> found their way into the new show. Are you vegans now, the characters? <laughs> Can you imagine? No. Our characters are very much the same people yeah. at their at their core, but their life experiences have taken them in some, some different places. So hopefully, I, yeah, I think part them. of the this is what you want from this show is it's not too trendy. You know, yeah. it stays kind of a little bit where it is. I mean, we have cell phones, but okay. I don't think I don't think anybody <laughs> does anybody even talk about social media in the thing. Um, yes, in my storyline, there's like uh, yes. Oh yes, in the in the. Job interview. Yeah, so yeah. like Sandy's to that. Right, yeah. right, right, right. right. Yeah, but yeah. if anything, oh, it's exciting. it's a little bit mocked. <laughs> that oh, everyone's good. reliance it on it and sort of yes, <laughs> and sort of you know it, it's it's more about I think how we don't exactly fit into that. Um, Amy, the creator of the show, once yeah. said to me, she said because her next thing she did a period piece set in the 50s because she said I just can't do a show where anybody's on their cell phone I just can't it's not my thing yeah that would be horrible mm -hmm. I guess yeah. mm -hmm. Rory's definitely connected to her phone especially in the first episode yeah. that we did She's... I mean I'm seeing it tonight I'm excited oh, yeah good. so you'll see <laughs> So Lauren, you just wrote a book of personal essays and I've already pre-ordered it. I'm pretty Thank excited. Thank you. And I also just wrote a book of personal essays. No way, so I'll pre-order it. Yeah, no, it's oh. a German, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I was wondering what your writing process is like. Uh, this book was easier in some ways because I um, had to get it done. <laughs> because mm -hmm. it had to come out when the show came out. And, oh, okay. and when the show... Uh, the show initially was supposed to be January, yeah. then they moved it to December, then they moved it to Thanksgiving. So <laughs> as the show, as we were working and filming, I was writing in between setups right. the whole time. And in a way, when you have to do it, I find I get so much more done. Yeah, I, I owe something right now and I'm, I'm having, I can make my own deadline. It's taking me forever. So you just have to <laughs> scare yourself silly and, <laughs> and you'll get it done. But also essays, at least you could work on a small chunk at a time and That's it's different true. than structuring a novel which is very difficult but it's just practice it's practice and in my book i talk about a technique that uh someone helped me with that really changed my writing process so well, it's very inspiring have you read it <laughs> yes yes oh, yeah well, but this sense. process it like gives you like instructions a and a, a methodology yeah. Yeah. that you can follow which i actually printed it out i don't know oh, like, <laughs> if i ever read anything like i need to refer to this yeah. oh that sounds good um was it difficult for you to get back into those characters considering that both you as actresses as well as the characters i suppose must have evolved yeah i think there is um sort of a parallel between you know the because it's sort of in real time you know we pick up with the characters nine years mm -hmm. later than we saw them okay. last. Um, my character has been working um, as a journalist, freelance writer, so she's been traveling all over. So, I mean, when you see her again, hopefully she seems different and mm -hmm. uh, her perspective has, sh has shifted, certainly. So coming back home um, is a really different experience for her than, you know, when we saw her living there all the time. Okay. I felt different as an actor coming back. I mean, yeah. this is my favorite material, but I... I went and did a very different kind of show called Parenthood, yeah, which so. was much kind of looser and slower and more mm. about behavior and I, and but very emotional. So it, it felt to me like this was, I, I had changed, but I, I was like hungry to do this material mm -hmm. again, to do something kind of, you know, I've, I feel this show's a little more theatrical, a little more technical yeah. and in the language and the pace and everything. And I, I had missed it. So I got to, oh, it was like coming back to a country I hadn't seen in a while. <laughs> you know, I was so thankful to be there. Yeah. On the original show, it had a large LGBT following, mm -hmm. but there don't seem to be many mm -hmm. openly gay characters in Stars mm -hmm. Hollow. And I was wondering if maybe this time around that may be a bit different. This is addressed and yeah. uh, he's played by one of my dearest friends. So I was just on many levels uh, so happy, but it is, the question is answered. Okay. Well, <laughs> maybe not in as big a way as we could could do, but, um, oh, but it, it was satisfying for me to have my friend there. Well, it was good meeting you and... 
Best of luck to the both of you. Thank you so much. Thanks for bringing Hier endet der Interviewclip abrupt und ich habe einfach keine Ahnung mehr, wofür mir Lauren Graham am Ende gedankt hat. Vielleicht thank you for bringing the nervousness, denn ich war sehr nervös. Habt ihr gemerkt, dass ich nervös war? Es war wirklich toll, die beiden zu interviewen und ich habe dann am gleichen Abend die erste der vier neuen Folgen gesehen, die am 25. November auf Netflix kommen und es war richtig gut. Also ich habe richtig, ich habe ein bisschen, nur ein bisschen geweint. Ciao!